Welcome to uh, a very special uh, across, across the Pond uh, Palace uh, Drum Countdown, or the PD Countdown, uh, with my special guest tonight, uh, Mr. Todd Zuckerman. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Ah, thank you for having me, Matt. I'll slow down a little bit. <laughs> no problem. Thank you for having me, Matt. <laughs> um, what's it like over, over the other side of the, of the pond at the moment? Uh, just give us a brief uh, description of what's going on, please. Uh, a, well, around my compound here, spring has sprung. It's a lovely sunny day. Um, uh, birds and the bees are out. And... Um, it's uh, it's quite lovely. I just kind of hanging out with my wife and daughter and uh, staying put and keeping busy. Keeping busy. So talking about busy, um, you've just launched something, haven't you? Well, I sort of fell into doing my own record through the coaxing of a, of an old friend of mine, J.K. Harrison, who'd been haranguing me uh, and cajoling me uh, for a while to do a record, and I always blew him off with the notion of. That's very sweet and kind that you believe that I could do this, but no, thank you. And finally, I, I relented, and um, you know, I, I guess I assumed that I would, I would always do some sort of fusion project, and I imagine most people would imagine that I'd, I'd do some sort of drum-centric fusion project. But the uh, reality is, I just played on the Antoine Fafard record and things that kind of scratched that itch. And then the thing with J.K. hit. He started writing songs. He started uh, having me sing them. And uh, he started producing me, and next thing I knew, I, I just had to get out of my own way. Uh, a record was kind of unfolding before our eyes, and I, I kind of didn't believe that I could pull it off. I didn't think that I could see it through, but um, I did, and I, I'm, I'm glad that I, I did. Um, I, and I wasn't going to release it during this time because I, I figured, why release a record during a global pandemic? Uh, but I was uh, convinced by many others that, that I should, and I, I posed the question on social media, and everyone said, yes, absolutely, release it now. We, we want new music, so here we are. Fantastic. Absolutely. Well, I look forward to hearing that. That sounds um, another singing drummer. There we go. Who would who don't know how many of her there are? So um, you're here, firstly, to do the PD Countdown. So um, uh, for people out there, um, I have briefed Todd on what Countdown is in this country, but obviously this is our different version of it. So um, just a quick reminder of the rules. Uh, Todd has one minute to answer his preference on the questions basically I'm going to fire him. He doesn't know the questions, but Todd, you have to give me an answer. It's this or that. Are you okay with that? Yes. Fantastic. Or I Yes. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to start. So what I need, first of all, I need uh, a minute on the clock. Bing! There we are, minute on the clock. So, Todd, if you're ready, I'm going to start the clock. Here we go. So, drum kit or drum set? <sighs> drum kit. Sticks or brushes? Sticks. 20 or 22 bass drum? 22. Studio or live? Studio. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Small jazz club or arena? Arena. Fries or curry? Ooh, fries. In ears or wedge? In ears. Buddy or Jean? Buddy. Radio or TV? TV. 5 4 or 7 4? Ooh, 5 4. Rockumentary or documentary? Documentary. Vintage or modern? Modern. Far East or Europe? Europe. Match script or traditional? Traditional. Uh, friends or Big Bang Theory? Oh, I didn't hear that one. Friends, friends or Big Bang Theory? Friends. 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 Clear or battered heads? Clear. Oh, there we are. Time's out. Oh, fantastic. We've got down quite a lot. The next one would have been Apple or Microsoft, but you can't answer that one because time is out, unfortunately. So um, thank you so much. So, yeah, as you can tell, um, you know, if you want to take Todd out for some food, Go with fries rather than a curry. We know but that. I, I, but I love curry too. But <laughs> it, you know what I mean. And I love tea too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it, it's, that's a hard call. I just I had to go with the gut. If I had to favor one, you know, by fifty-one percent over forty-nine percent. Well, it's your preference, so that's what it's all about. So, thank you for doing that. Now, um, as you can tell, uh, everyone, Todd's actually sitting in most probably some people's idea of heaven uh, in his uh, studio. Um, can you just give us a quick tour uh, of basically what is behind you uh, and, uh, you know, what, what, what everything is really, but, you know. Sure, really, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in the, the far corner from the door, so here's where the digital workstation is, and I got all the um, 
mic pre's and whatnot electronics down there. But uh, things are sort of in various disarray because I've been uh, have various things have been happening in the studio over the last few days. But this right here is, is the first drum kit that I ever had. It was my father's last, my first. So this is a 1969 Slingerland. Oh, lovely. Uh, with, with a very rare 18 inch bass drum. I, I didn't know this was a rare thing until I had a conversation with Rob Cook many years ago mm. uh, that they didn't make many 18 inch bass drums at all. No. So I, I learned how to play on this kit. Um, the, the, the door's uh, this way here. So you come in, and then this is sort of the view when you, when you walk in. So we come over to the main kit, which is always mic'd up and ready to go, the, the Pearl Masterworks kit. Uh, this was new as of 2018. It's the um, uh, studio recipe with the uh, maple gum shells. Uh, and the 60 degree bearing edges, uh, but rocket toms. And you know, the, the, the funny thing is I, I don't always play all this stuff. There is a four piece kit in there. So I can do sessions and I'll just play one rack and one floor and that's fine. But I have all the other choices there uh, if I would like to uh, use them, you know? Yeah, options. So that's the main kit. So we have the, the snare wall over here full of uh, old friends and new friends, various choices. Uh, so this is sort of the sonar section over here. So my old sonar kits that I played in the uh, 80s and 90s. And this uh, Timeless Timber D, uh, um, DW kit Dean Castanovo gave me as a gift as a, and a present when we toured with Journey, which is very nice of him. Uh, snare wall over here. And if we go to the far back, we have the, uh, the cantaloupe behemoth and representing England. Hey. This uh, premier concert tom kit. Uh, boy, let me see. I have to stand back. It's so huge. <laughs> so this is sort of like a catalog cover, uh, six through 16 concert toms, 16, 18 floor, two bass drums, and a snare drum with all the matching uh, uh, lock fast hardware in, in just about not quite mint, but pretty damn close condition. I, 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 I'm sorry, I'm doing that wrong way. I saw most of this kit at um, uh, uh, Bentley's Drums in, in Fresno, and I just I had to have it because Phil Collins and Keith Moon are huge. They they loom large for me, and, and being these were 1978, it kind of it touches the Keith Moon era and also yeah. that that magical uh, era of Genesis for me. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, uh, Mike Ellis in England helped track down a couple of the high toms, and um, it's it's a lot of fun. You put up a couple uh, dynamic mics in, in front of this thing, and uh, and you're Phil Collins. Boom! <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, that's that's uh, that, that's the room, and I I, uh, I like having all these different choices because if I ever come out here and feel like it's not happening, or I'm bored, or, you know, I never get bored, but if you know, we all have times where we sit down and yeah. you're, you're sick of your ideas. Uh, I pull out a different snare drum. I pull out a different ride cymbal. I pull out a different pair of hi-hats. And all of a sudden, new, th new ideas are coming out. And, and I go down a road that I wouldn't have um, unless I'd switched out those choices. Mm, or, yeah, or, or sit down at the jazz kit. Now I'm there. Or, or go play ridiculous giant fills on you know, eight concert times. There's always something that's going to get my blood moving and my brain going in a particular direction if I ever come out here and I'm just not feeling it or whatever, you know? So you basically have the choice of, like, if you feel a little bit, I suppose, mellow, you can get down on the jazz, or if you feel a bit uptight, whack those toms out on the 12 toms and stuff like that. Just, you have options, don't you? Yeah, it's sort of like, not, not that I ever use a workout room, but I imagine this is sort of a, a workout room of, of different drum kit drum kits to spur on ideas especially yeah. if i seem to be bereft of them at the moment when i when i come out here you know something is bound to lead me down a path that's worth exploring fantastic so um obviously everyone's in the same position doesn't matter where you are in the world at the moment there's a few places like you know easing up but um what are the positives that's actually come out of what are you actually experiencing uh, in this history uh, timeline at the moment well, when, when this first hit, um, and before I 
you know, decided to release the record, I was coming out here every day and going through a lot of basic motions and just trying to get certain things solidified on a deeper level and at different tempos with a metronome on the drum set and maybe practicing some ideas and transitions of a lot of hand to foot combinations, mm. change note rates and, and things that I, I maybe avoided just a little bit because they were difficult or I could play those ideas fast, but can I really play those cleanly, slowly? Can I, can I groove these ideas? So I was really getting out here and, and kind of compartmentalizing my practice sessions while also keeping um, the ideas that I want to record on the, the upcoming Styx record fresh. Um, had life continued in a normal fashion, I would have recorded the record three weeks ago in Nashville. Right. So I, yeah, so when this is finally behind us, I don't want to have the experience of A, going in to record the record and thinking, oh, wait, I had uh, some cool things I wanted to play here. What, what did I want to play? Or feeling like I'm all of a sudden 80 years old when it comes time to play a show. I have to keep myself sharp and in shape. Um, and if I can learn some new ideas and some new skills and I want to learn how to run my studio and Pro Tools, of which I have no idea, then I will come out of this situation having uh, garnered some experience and being, um, you know, having been the better for it. Yeah, yeah. So would that be your advice to, well, I suppose it goes through anyone, doesn't it? Not necessarily to drummers or musicians, but anyone. So basically, you've got time now to learn that new skill, that new thing that you didn't have time, or whether it be sit down reading a book that you haven't had a chance to do, it's just gathering dust from the shelf, or learning that new kind of like polyrhythms like you heard, you know, you had a lesson on once, you know. So would that be your advice to make sure during this pandemic we're in is make sure you can come out of it better than you did before yes i mean if you you come out of it with this a new skill uh, whether it's something technical or you learned another language uh, that you always wanted to do um you know, plow through some books or you know as drummers take the time to get better now and really tackle things that you want to improve uh, uh, about in your playing. Uh, the, the rock drumming masterclass I did with Drumeo that was initially a 26 week long course where every Monday you got a new lesson and you had access to me via email uh, for coaching. They just took the entire package, which is like 15 hours long, um, 50 songs with play alongs, charts, um, a lesson plan, uh, it comes with assignments for beginners, intermediate, and advanced players, and they made it available as a standalone purchase that you have access to for life, uh, and they slashed the price uh, two-thirds so drummers could have access to all this information right now. So if, I mean, if you're interested in, in, in anything that I have to offer, uh, that's a great place to start. It starts with getting your basics together. And I'm, and I'm not talking one and two e and ergonomics, how to approach the drum set, what music means and in and, and ways that you can emotionally attach yourself to, to the music. And there's always hand exercises at the end of every lesson. And then through the 26 weeks that you get all in one shot that you can binge watch Netflix style, uh, it, it gives you a lesson plan that you could take six to eight months or however long you want to work and use this time um, positively staying focused, staying um, motivated and inspired because the course is designed to keep you from week to week. So right. you all, all have that at, at, at one shot. So uh, yeah, check that out. I mean, the, the, the price is, yeah, it used to be like 400 bucks or something like that. It's like ni it's $90 an hour or something. Oh, blimey. That's nothing, is it? Nothing for, yeah. for the amount of hours, you know, someone like yourself has put into it as well. It's amazing. Um, <clears throat> Todd, thank you ever so much. Um, first of all, for so, having this time, I, I know you're a busy man, especially with the launch of the, uh, the record and everything else. Um, the reason why we're sitting here, guys, is that um, I'm trying to bring Todd over to the UK. Uh, as part of the drum uh, Palace Drum Clinic, uh, so a, a bigger entity. Um, it's not happening at the moment, but please watch this space. Um, Todd will come over. I will make sure he comes over. Um, he wants to come over, and especially, obviously, we know, everyone knows that we do this in Redditch, home of John Bonham. He wants to come and see the house that John was born in. He wants to go and see the, 
the actual uh, memorial in the centre of Redditch. But he wants to come and entertain you guys as well. So if you do want that, please follow us on uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, also, the palacedrumclinic.com. And that's where you basically you find all the great stuff that's happening now in this lockdown period we are, uh, with the interviews with uh, the PD Countdown. And also we have a new slight series, the PD Chat, which is going out every single Saturday at half eight. Um, so if you want to know about that, please log on to it. And obviously follow Todd as well. Uh, I know I do, and I can sit down and I can lose myself for hours what he has to say now he's musical playing uh, it's the musicality for me with Todd um, uh, it just oozes so uh, I'm so grateful for, for all those videos you put on there Todd thanks very much so um, I think there's no more we can literally say apart from uh, thank you very much Todd for spending the time with the Palace Drum Clinic my pleasure um, man and we hope you're going to see you very soon in the in the UK um, because you know, it's all basically about connecting each other. Um, I think one thing for me about uh, this uh, this lockdown period, this pandemic, is that we we're very very close in the whole world. You know, we're only literally a click away from anybody in the world. So, um, you know, Todd's six hours behind, uh, but we're having a chat. We're having a chat. Um, so it's fantastic. So thanks again, Todd, um, and thanks again for watching. Uh, please stay safe, everybody, and we'll see you again soon on a PD countdown. Take care, guys. Thank you. Thank you.